Today's video is sponsored by the free eagles app for War Thunder. Download the app in the video description below and use the code shown on screen to get 10 golden deals right now. Bonjour mes amis, je ne parle français très bien, mais petit peu être. Welcome back to War Thunder and welcome aboard the French end of the line top tier chat bomber, which is the SO4050 Vautour de A. I guess this is how you pronounce it. In the background you can see some scenes and some well situations that I want to present you and later on I have a good gameplay for you. Now the main perspective that I want to give you is that I use this plane as a fighter. Yes. Why? Well because I have learned lessons from playing other nations chats that you get more well bucks for your bank so to speak if you sometimes use a plane on a role that it is not really designated for let's put it that way the best example for this would be the american 82 sky Raider. actually a pretty good interceptor if you know how to use it against certain nations with terrible handling and although not very confident pilots let's put it that way back to this plane so it's the french Jet bomber at 8.0 and its armament consists of four 30 millimeter defa 551 cannons with 400 rounds in total furthermore this must this is one of the planes within war thunder with the most variety of well different uh, weapon setups i think it's nearly it's it's 19 19 different weapon loadouts that is a lot but in quintessence it's not really that good why because you can't drop your bombs properly so and here i actually bailed out because as you can read in chat um they asked me to do so there are three or four against me and yeah i don't want to well extend the gameplay too much so that was actually the most nice approach i could give to this plane why because it's a pretty bad bomber although the bomb load is not bad and you have so many rockets and all that but in practice it's really difficult to even take down two base points reliably you don't you don't have a bomb site on a bomber on the previous version you have but that is just a, a not very fun plane to play let's be honest so ultimately this is a jet bomber at 8.0 and it kind of in a very rough estimation follows the trend somewhere between r2 y2 and the uh, arado c3 variant it's not uh, it's it's not even slightly comparable to other jet bombers such as the l28 or t14 which have defensive guns it's more of an offensive bomber and at 8.0 you practically have a performance of certain fast jet fighters in this respect i have to just point the finger to michael spoon and say watch his video on the stats of this plane what it can do and how you can abuse it and abusing is really what this plane is all about where a bit of my criticism comes from now this is not a rant it's just an observation it's just my experience as a bomber pilot or a jet pilot overall i'm not the world's most experienced one but still you know if i see a plane that is as obvious abusive as this one i just think i can point that out so um you have an air spawn for a bomber if you choose so in rb and then you have practically a hunter performance this is why i don't like to take on bombs or i drop them in the start of the beginning maybe having one or two um, still have them with me because then uh, when there is a thick cloud cover and i don't know where the last remaining enemies are i can drop them through the clouds and with the bomb cam i can kind of uh, use the bomb and the view around it like a yeah like a observation satellite i know this is very tricky but stay with me so this plane has great performance in terms of top speed also the acceleration is not bad but in close quarters in terms of maneuver fighting no forget it 
it's a very very opportunistic playstyle that you have to adapt to and so the name vulture which is the english name for it basically um because i have no real <clears throat> interest in play in you know just making myself look even stupider than i am currently <coughs> and <laughs> and just try to pronounce it in french no 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 but a vulture just you know tracks down players that are in a bad state they are either damaged they cannot really fight back they are currently occupied with another player and then you can easily wreck them with your 430 millimeters they have a good they have a good trajectory good muscle velocity and a good rate of fire so yeah but if you if somebody is actively avoiding you you have a damn hard time and you shouldn't do if you want to play this plane like a jet fighter then do it as a boom and zoomer and if somebody avoids just zoom through climb again and dive on them again and just bleed their energy and when you have the performance of a hunter with an air start at 8.0 i have to say if you really are going for the striking um, or early strike approach then you have a damn hard time to screw it actually up unless you have set the conversions to 600 meter and aim for like 400 meters like i did because <clears throat> russian bias so <laughs> um yeah what i really found also amusing that this plan is obviously kind of abusive you can really destroy uh, enemy teams well planned approach towards your team in the terms of side climbing climbing at all or teamwork and it's also very forgiving in this respect i just have to say that um, it is strange that this plane never fights to force or r2y2s i've just seen one r2y2 but that was in a mixed match so again the planes that are sometimes troublesome and could be really countered hard by this plane you never face and this is just something that i don't understand why planes like this get implemented like that so yeah i mean the predecessor the b version is also at 8.0 has a better usable well bomb load and uh, you can actually take down two bombing points with the 750 pounds which is the first bomb type of that weight in war thunder i guess so uh, before that we just had 500 and a thousand pound bombs so 750 is kind is something special and you can dose it better onto the bombing points like you don't have to waste too much um, ordnance so to speak so there is that so this is actually the gameplay that i wanted to show you at the end versus the germans and this plane actually has no problem also kind of playing a role at 9.0 if you still go for altitude and just um, zoom out try to run then to re-engage once the enemy is reoccupied with another of your teammates and so this plane at 8.0 feels like a focke wolf versus spy planes okay it's it's just so much faster and it actually can reach the top speed or it can easily exceed a thousand kilometers an hour now technically the german planes are also capable of doing that but you must put them for example an me262 or horton 229 you have to put them through extreme paces um, with altitude dive speed a long acceleration run to achieve that this plane well it flies comfortably around 800 below that it's really sluggish and it's unresponsive you have a damn hard time to correct your aim if somebody's actively avoiding and so you kind of see a pattern emerging here it's a vulture and you have to play the enduring gameplay you have to play the hit and run gameplay the only few aircraft that can really become dangerous if you don't play if you don't pay attention are either 9.0 jets or are certain special jets like the Horton 229 
um, in certain situations, although not very often representative. ME163 because they also can climb under certain circumstances really fast or the rocket part ME262s. However, the later named ones or the ME163 and the two versions of the rocket equipped ME262 have a limited boost time so to speak. So again, you can play the endurance game. What I really, really love about this plane is the look. It looks some li something like the well good blend between an ME262 and a Hawker Hunter. It just really, really looks awesome. I like it. So if you want to help your teammate in the fight after, let's say, you have bombed and nobody is on you, do a lot of fake attacks so you can chew through your ammunition faster than you think. So a lot of fake attacks, they think they have to hard avoid you, at least at this point in time. And that uh, many people don't know what this plane is capable of, especially G91s are notorious for just pulling to the side and you don't see them ever again, so to speak. However, the G91 is probably one of the jets that can suffer the most at the hands of a single, um, of a single jet bomber. Why? Because the G91 can often run away. I, s I have seen this very often, so I don't know exactly everything in precisely about this, but the G91 can run and can make life difficult. So again, this was kind of a fake head-on from both of us. I, I didn't fire, he hadn't fired or he didn't hit me with his stealth belts. So there is that. But back to the G91. So you can easily hunt him down. And then you can just uh, let him avoid your attack. And then a second team member, for example, in an F-80C or uh, F-84, can then try to deal with this G91 better. And when they then are in a dogfight or in a positioning fight, energy fight, whatever, you can swoop in and again throw off his aim or utterly destroy him if you get a good burst on him. So this plane, played with a certain mindset, can absolutely demolish the build-up phase of an enemy team and also in a continuous fight that's going on if your teammates give you enough time that is um, a lot of opportunities to get some easy kills some quick kills but you also should face um, focus on planes if you have the decision that are more dangerous to your team so for example if you fight the americans and just for the sake of the argument let's say you have of course um an F-86 F-2 Sabre as a target and an F-80C as a target. Of course you go for the Sabre because the other jet is easier to deal with. Now, I don't have a particular difficult time with this plane's performance, but I have a difficult time with the teams that I'm facing on. And so for the uh, for the few matches that I played, I just have a 38.5% win ratio. That is not good. Yes, for the games that I've played, that is not saying everything, but you kind of get it. So, how to counter this plane? And now it's getting really interesting. Actually, you can't. If there is a good player in this plane, he's practically untouchable for you. The only thing that uh, forces him to go back to the airfield is lack of ammunition, lack of fuel, but you have more than enough. And, well, just ground pound the hell out of enemy ground units. But then again, this plane is better at doing this. So if somebody just runs, when let's just say in a tier 4 at 12,000 meters and you have no way of catching him you can equip so many rockets on this plane and a single rocket of which you have 72 in the best um, loadout you can one shot every tank at least in RRB and also every single um, light pillbox that gives you a damn good amount of ground striking potential 
but you really have to be careful that you don't get too slow that you don't crash into the ground and whatever because the handling of the plane is good awful so you have good top speed good acceleration and all that but terrible handling and it reminds me of stock German planes when I try to turn in this fully upgraded jet because you the, no the plane just does, doesn't want to turn so this is always a tricky part and the flaps try to rip off over 550 kilometers an hour so there is that so as you could see in this um, in the in the background I had the enemy team under control at any time and yes I apologize for the kill on the ME163 but it didn't really matter at the end again this was a kill like a vulture would do it he was vulnerable and I act absolutely abused it is what well, is this a fair fight no should I have done this probably not but then again he's on the enemy team and you know the plane is named a vulture so I personally like the look of the plane. It, it absolutely looks stunning. I don't think it's really worth it, although the repair costs are low and you can make a decent amount of money with it and research points. At this point in time, I'm really thinking of slapping a talisman on this plane and trying to research the remaining uh, French lineup instead of using the SO8000 Narval because it's just so abusive normally i don't like abusive planes and i hesitate to recommend them but then again if i just wouldn't say anything about this plane it would be as were as as bad you know and then again i'm just a small youtuber so which kind of impact do i have you know one thing that I really don't get is why the repair costs for this plane are under 10,000 fully upgraded, but for the predecessor without guns and much less variety on the Gunnick um, bomb blowout with no guns and all that. At the same battle rating, it's 15,500 silver lines. So, to be honest, I expect a change in this respect anytime soon. So, there is that. I have to say that whatever you think about this plane or French planes, this plane is just implemented in a way where it's just frustrating and just very annoying to use in a normal bomber role, but highly entertaining when you have the abusive way. But then again, you just have to repeat it and you face very often down tiers to 7.0. So one advantage that I see with the introduction of so many French jets or kind of a few uh, French jets is that the 8.0 meta is broken. And that is a good thing because you sh before that you saw nothing but up tiers with your 8.0 jet to 9.0. So now you have very often um, gameplays, you have so often any kind of down tier as you have an up tier and sometimes you just fight fight 8.0s that's a good change so i can't really have anything against this then again i'm not a chat expert i haven't played chats uh, before that in quite some weeks so let me know in the comment section what you think about this plan here you can see the income it's actually quite good you know for a non-premium plane with no premium booster, over 80,000 silver lines and um, quite some research point progress on a tier 4 plane. So that is practically it for me today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like if it did. Subscribe if you want to see more and we'll see each other in the skies of War Thunder.